Salutations, celestial sightseers. I'm David Fuller. Welcome to Eyes on the Sky. What's up this week? I want to tell you my secret now. Okay. I see dead stars. Movie stars. Dead stars like in space, in the sky, floating around. You can see dead stars too. Some that are easily seen in the night sky are called planetary nebula. A few well-known ones are the Ring Nebula and the Dumbbell Nebula, both of which have been highlighted by Eyes on the Sky previously. And one that surprisingly was overlooked by Charles Messier when he made his famous list of non-comets is NGC 7009, sometimes called the Saturn Nebula. And now this week's dark sky fact. The Shropshire Council in Western England voted to continue a policy of turning off street lamps from midnight to 5.30 a.m. Not only does this save the county money, Superintendent James Tozer said, since this began, crime has actually gone down. There has been a 34% fall in the number of burglaries since last year. NGC 7009 is not all that difficult to find, and it is bright enough it can even be seen with a 90mm telescope while the moon is full. Around 9 o'clock in the evening, and holding two fists together at arm's length, measure 20 degrees from Fomalo towards Altair. This will place you at the eastern side of Capricornus the Sea Goat, and the stars Deneb Al Jedi and Nashira are here. Drawing a line through them, Back towards the western side of the constellation, in the direction of Dobby, use the finder scope on a small telescope to hop first to Iota, then one more similarly distanced hop to Theta Capricorni, both fourth magnitude stars. Observers with a well-aligned equatorial mount and large setting circles can simply dial their telescopes six degrees north to center in the Saturn Nebula from there. But for star hoppers, Place those two stars on either side of the field of view, then move perpendicular to the line they create, about a full finder scope field of view. This will get you to New Aquarii, a 4.5 magnitude star. NGC 7009 is just a degree and a half away from there, but it really isn't an easy pointer star. So just move in the same direction as the Iota Theta line, and that's where the nebula will be. Look for a star that seems slightly out of focus with a wide field of view. Even in a 90 millimeter telescope, I see a pale blue color to the nebula, although your eyes may see it differently. But this object is better observed at higher magnifications as it has high surface brightness. Try for 150, 200, or even higher powers if your telescope can handle it. Larger apertures under dark skies may see the lobes or even antenna that appear off the sides of this nebula, but even very small telescopes can see the oval, non-circular shape to this shell of a dying star. After hopping over Antares last week, Venus looks to leapfrog Messier's 6 and 7 next week, approaching them across the course of this week. Jupiter can rightly be called an evening as well as morning object now, as it attains more than 10 degrees of altitude before midnight, with the moon joining it on the 25th. And Mars darts within a few degrees of one of the Leo triplet of galaxies by the weekend. That's all for this week. Keep your eyes on the sky and your outdoor lights aimed down so we can all see what's up. I'm David Fuller, wishing you clear and dark skies.